I know that there are products that every one of us have bought that just did not work out, disappointed, were way over hyped, whatever you want to say, they just weren't good products. I have a little tub of products right here. These are by no means everything that I've bought in the year of 2019. You guys know that I moved, so back in about September, I did a huge declutter. So this is kind of the year end stuff and some stuff that I actually did hold on to because it was a little bit pricier. And I felt like at the time that I just didn't want to declutter clutter it because it just cost me too darn much money. So we're going to get into this right now so that you can see a few of the products that did disappoint me in 2019. And I do have another video coming up of palettes that I purchased in 2019 that disappointed me. And that, watch for that one. And again, that one is not a full year, but there's quite a few in there that really I have been holding on to and thinking that I would just love and I just don't love them. So watch for that video coming up. Let's get into the other products right now that I have not liked in 2019. Okay, so a few are drugstore and a few are high end. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into the drugstore first. Makeup Revolution, this is their color correcting primer. I don't feel like this is just a thing with Makeup Revolution. I've tried several green color correcting primers to put right here around my nose and across my cheeks right here because I have so much redness and they just don't work. They end up making my foundations look gray, which is, as you know, not a good look. It's usually a look like you're half dead. So this really is not just about Makeup Revolution, although I picked this one out of there because it was a thicker formula and it just, it did not work at all. And I don't know if they've made it thicker in order for it to be pore uh, filling as well or what, but uh, the color correcting on it was just too, it was too stark. It was just way too green. And then also was the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation clung to my dry patches. It covered great, but it was very, very matte, very, very drying. And you guys know I already have very dry skin. So it just did not look good because I just felt like it clung to every little pore, every little crease, everything like that. And I just couldn't get it to work even as I was working with it, trying to put in other mixers in there to try and help it out. Just could not get it to work. And then the last concealer I have is the One Drop Coverage from Catrice. I was so excited about this. And the first time I used it was right before I went on camera when I had hauled it, I think. And I thought it was going to be a really good one. But through the day, I mean, honestly, it was like maybe two hours and it just looked terrible. And the most darkness I have is right through here, which is where we all get it. But it really just could not even cover that completely. So it being, I think, a very liquidy consistency also contrib contributed to it kind of mixing with my color correctors. So this one had to be a hard pass also. And then the last drugstore item I have is from ColourPop and this is their Loose Pigments. This was just too much sparkle. It was just way too much glitter on my mature skin. And as I was trying to work with it, the sparkles dropping down on my cheeks and it was just, it was just a hot mess. And I even used it wet, um, try to mix in medium with it to try and get it to work. It just really didn't work well for me. So I have kind of steered away from any loose glitter. Now they've put it into their actual palettes, which I'm not so, you know, very happy about, but definitely the loose glitter did not work for me at all from them. Also, this is something that I have just kept around for a long time because I feel like it's so hyped on YouTube and everybody talks about it and it's the Color Science Total Eye. It has a 35 SPF. It's supposed to be skin ther renewal therapy give you the SPF to and a color correcting type thing. Now, if you didn't have very dark under eye circles, I think this would be okay for you. But for me, this just made my concealer slip around even more. The color correcting was not there. And even though I was very intrigued with it having the SPF in it, because I know it's good to have SPF around your eyes, I just bring my SPF my SPF up around my eyes. And so this was kind of just a super expensive product that even though I know so many people that I know here on YouTube really love it, it just wasn't to me worth the price tag. And it didn't work for what I needed for having coverage or color correcting at all. And then I also very recently talked about this in a dupes video. This is their Strivectin Neck and Chest Cream. I kept this also because I want to be reminded over and over again that neck and chest creams very rarely 
ever do what they say they're going to. I have heard this hyped on YouTube so much by so many different people. And I feel like all this did for me was create a mess with my other skincare and create a mess that I was just balling up all over my neck and chest until I actually had to go in with a washcloth and just take it all off. And I find that there are so many neck creams that do that. Whether they were drugstore or whether they were luxury, they just don't work. They all end up balling. I don't know what that thing is that they, the ingredient is in there that they put up that just balls up like crazy but it drives me nuts when I'm trying to put on skincare that I want to stay. And then all you're getting is that sloughing off of that skincare the whole time. So that's a hard pass for me. Another skincare item that I thought I would really like is the Ultimate Miracle Worker Night from Philosophy. They give you a little pouch of these bead type things that you put in there and then you very gently roll it around in there. And this is like half gone, just about half gone. But this doesn't give me any extra moisture at night and I didn't see any extra benefits. I will probably go ahead and use this up maybe on my hands or you know my neck area just to try and use it up but I don't feel like it is the ultimate miracle worker as far as a cream goes. I just I used it actually this is my second bottle because it came in a duo and so halfway through this bottle I'm like this isn't doing a darn thing. So I'm really definitely very, very disappointed in that. And then I got from First Aid Beauty, and by the way, I love First Aid Beauty. Their original cream that you get in the tub, that stuff is wonderful, and I used it on my face for years and years. But this one is the Ultra Repair Barrier Cream. Now, it it is supposed to create a barrier between your skin and other things. I don't know if you can see it right there, but that stuff is thick. And this is sticky. I mean, you literally put it on, you feel like you've got something kind of stuck to your skin and you feel that way the whole rest of the night. And I cannot handle that sticky feeling. And then I really didn't feel like it was holding moisture in. So because of that sticky feeling, this was just a hard pass for me. And it probably did create a barrier but because it was so thick and Nothing else could get in because that was so sticky. So it probably did do that, but I was not appreciative of it. I got a little duo from Jouer. One was their a lip gloss and then one was their highlighters. So many people have talked about how wonderful Jouer's highlighters are. And I like the little lip gloss, but the highlighter I feel like just really fell short for me. Two reasons. It feels very drying. And then when I got it on my skin, I don't feel like it gave the kind of glow that I look for in a highlighter. I look for something that's going to be quite illuminating, but extremely finely milled because I don't want it to show any texture. And this doesn't feel finely milled. And it does feel very powdery and very dry when you get it on there. And so I just felt like it showed up my texture. It didn't really illuminate as much as I wanted it to. So this one also was a hard pass. I also was watching another YouTuber that said the Milk Makeup Eyeliner was wonderful for the waterline and it didn't work for me. It just didn't work for me. Now this is extremely creamy. It builds up fantastic. But what happens is for me, it just came out of my waterline like within an hour. It does have this, this cool little smudger on the other side if you wanted to use it. It's attached. I kind of like that because sometimes with smudgers, they're like pull outs. And so I kind of did like that. But at the same time, it wasn't worth, you know, the, I don't know, $20 that I possibly spent on this. So again, Milk Makeup's eyeliner, hard pass for me. Sorry that I bought that one. And then this one is from Laura Geller. Now, I love Laura Geller and I have had one of her body Body frostings before. This is a huge compact. But this one is in Tahitian Glow. It's pretty. It's got the baked marble that she does there with all the different colors. But look at this, you guys. That's what color it is. It is a bright orange. And in the summer, even when I'm self tanning, I ain't that orange and I'm not that tan. So this really just did not work for me as far as the color goes. There was a very, very light one that I did use at one time that I couldn't find when I got this one. But again, it just, it just very much fell short fell short and it's a cool concept because what she tells you to do is either kind of miss this and get a little bit wet and then, then you can put it on your legs, on your shoulders, whatever's going to be showing at that time. But this one, because of how orange it is and how, 
you know, Oompa Loompa looking that is. I could not get this to work at all. And she does have a couple other colors and they are very glowy and very pretty on the skin. But this color, whoo, it was just not good for me. So that is my roundup, probably like for the last third of 2019 of things that I did not like at all that I purchased and things that I just wanna say, they weren't any good guys. And take what I say today with a grain of salt because I know that we are all so different and different products work for different people. And I just definitely wouldn't want anybody to not use their products that they love just because I said that they didn't work for me. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I hope everyone is happy and healthy. Take care of yourselves, everyone. I love you so much. Catch y'all in my next video. Bye-bye guys.